Hi, my name is Elena Lombardi. I'm the designer for Between the Sheets Lingerie. Um, our spring summer 2011 collection is inspired by sort of the idea of nostalgia and those beachy summers that you remember from your childhood and when you were young. Um, you know, I, think I thought of carnivals and I thought of boardwalks and the sun surf and sand, and it inspired a really beautiful um, spring color. What do you do to achieve balance in your very hectic world? <laughs> it's not really easy when you're a small business owner to get balance, but I try to get as much balance as I can by getting out of the house. I do work, um, I work from home, we have a small studio in our apartment, and um, just in general, uh, being healthy, uh, getting out when the weather is nice, and it's very rarely in New York, but during the summer I like to get out a lot and uh, walk and enjoy nature. What is your least favorite part of the job? Um, I don't know if I have a least favorite part of the job. Um, I enjoy pretty much everything that we do. Um, maybe I would say long hours um, a lot of the time because you're spending long hours doing um, the big parts of production and during designing and photo shoots um, and the market. So long hours is definitely difficult, but it all pays off. And where do you see your brand going in the next five years? Um, in the next five years, I hope to see between the sheets getting to a lot more boutiques across the country and throughout the world. Um, I hope to just basically expand the basics that we have and, and design a lot more beautiful things. But if we could be doing business for five more years, we'd be very happy. Now the important question, Blackberry or iPhone? Uh, I'm a Blackberry person. <laughs> Why? Any reason? Um, I, I just, I, I have Sprint, so... <laughs> You don't have an iPhone, and I don't know. I, I told my boyfriend he has a he now has a touch screen. I get really irritated by people who are like playing with their touch screens. So I just like my straightforward BlackBerry. <laughs> uh, if you were a superhero, what would be your superpower? Um, if I were a superhero, I would be able to touch polluted rivers and clean them. <laughs> my boyfriend would love that. He's an environmental lawyer, so. That's good. Uh, we know that you do a lot of eco-friendly related things with your business. Could you tell us a little more about that? Um, we basically use a lot of fabrics that have um, more eco-friendly properties. Um, one of the things that you know, we have that's different from other companies is uh, that my partner Josh is an environmental lawyer. So we have the sort of checks and balances of we weigh whether something is eco-friendly or organic or sustainable. There are a lot of different things and all the different things to different people. Um, so one of the things that we do is uh, we use a lot of the doll. So this is right here. Um, this is a silk modal and this is a modal with like a blend. And modal is made from beechwood. So basically it has a lot of the same properties as cotton. And these are blended with other materials which just adds a different, a different bit of luxury to them. But modal we found is less harsh than bamboo because the chemicals used to treat beechwood to make it into fiber for fabric are less, um, less harsh to the environment, and then also um, it uses less water and is a far more sustainable um, crop than cotton. So that's part of the reason that our line is so heavily featured with it all. Okay. Is there anything from the new collection you'd like to show us? Um, I am not able to show our special new Luxe collection yet, but I'm excited to share it with everybody soon. So. <laughs> Great. Any last parting exciting words? Um, look for us on All the Line, starting to air in March, uh, late March of this year, and, um, and supporting lingerie as a valid fashion category. There's whole floors and apartment stores and boutiques devoted to it, and